Hello world of YouTube and welcome back to my channel with me next. It should be Mitchy like let you here with another episode of Toys and Things. And today's video is going to focus on an American Girl haul. Yay! And so if you are a fan of American Girl, then you definitely need to keep watching. And even if you're not, watch anyway. Because in the box that's next to me over here, I have one special coveted item of the season. Oh, and also, welcome to Spooky Table. My house is fully decked out for Halloween. It took me forever, but I finally did it done, or finally got it done. So, yay! So, anyway, back to the haul video. Um, I have a coveted item in there, and I think you guys are going to be excited to see, especially if you love Halloween like I do. So, let's get to it. Alrighty, everyone. Uh, next to me, I'm going to grab it here. I don't really have too much on room on the table to show you. But, or to put this box on the table, but um, I have a box for American Girl. I recently, well, I wouldn't say recently, I've actually had it for a little bit now. Um, got a box, or, or did an order online um, from American Girl. And it's not a small nor medium, kind of in between size box. So anyway, I did an online order because I have not been able to get to my American Girl store that's closest to me. Uh, which is the DC store, by the way. Um, it's closest to me, and I have not been able to get there uh, in person to do some in-person shopping. So online will have to do. Now, if you guys are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to my humble abode. And right now, it's my spooky abode. But welcome, welcome. I'm going to flash my uh, Instagram right here. And you guys can definitely, definitely follow me on there because I do post more stuff, random things, or uh, obviously more toy related. Um, it is Mechie Light Light Toys. So please follow me there. So anyway, where was I at? Oh yes. So if you're new here, like I said, welcome. But I like to do my unboxings and haul videos. Um, you know what I should do? I should grab Sam's Lollipop. This is a big prop lollipop um, that I got from Spare Halloween a couple years ago. And anyway, if you're wondering what this is, this is called the same greeter from Spirit Halloween. Um, and you put, he has, you know, candy in his dish. Never let his candy dish go empty because, you know, he might get mad. So always make sure he has his candy. Kind of like in the Goonies, you know, where you never let one-eyed Willie's weight thingy go empty. Because if you grab it and you take all the weight out, it's going to set a booby trap. Anyway, that was kind of off subject, but yeah. So... How's that? Oh, yes. If you're new here, like I said, welcome, welcome for the third time. Um, and I do my boxings and unhaul or unhaul. <laughs> yes. Haul videos um, differently. When I get especially something from the mail, I open the box up, but I don't dig in. So I haven't looked into this box. I literally just opened it. I've had it for like maybe a month um, now. I literally just opened it. And I don't really dig in because I like my reactions on to be on camera, to be real and genuine. I'm a small YouTuber. I'm not endorsed by anybody. I'm not sponsored by anybody. So, um, obviously, I'm going to keep it real. So, I'm not going to lie to you when I'm doing reviews or anything like that. And I'm showing you how products are or work or look or whatever they may be. So, yeah. So, anyway, I do have it to the side of me because uh, I don't have any room on the table here. Um, so what I do is I grab each item and I'll talk about it for a little bit and then I'll, uh, keep it moving as much as I can without me jabbing the jaws. But yes, yeah, so let's just dig in here. So like I said, my reactions, um, are always real and genuine. If you watch any of my other videos, uh, you could definitely see that. I like to bring that realness to the channel, my channel that is. Um, like I said, not endorsed and sponsored by anybody, so I'm not going to be fake. And even if I was, I'm still not going to be fake. So thank you for, you know, I'm a small YouTuber and I appreciate that. I'm all the little uh, likes, comments, subscriptions. I love that and I enjoy being a small YouTuber. Um, but anyway, so first thing in the box is this. This is um, 
the fall, we'll just say the fall, um, yeah, the fall catalog. Um, I already have one of these that came in the mail, but you know, if you do any orders or anything like that, um, online, they do, American Girl does send you, um, their catalog. So yes, yeah, so I already have one of these. Um, I might give away one of these because I know people do want them and like them. So I might do a future giveaway. I might throw the extra one in the giveaway. So here we go. It is the Halloween version. Just, I love this, um, uh, this photo here. I think it's really cool. I love, I would like this to be in like a poster size. I mean, I guess I could rip this out and make it like a poster size, but something bigger. Be really, really cute. And I'm not going to flip through this whole magazine, guys. I just wanted to show you that. I mean, um, at the time I'm filming this, I did just get their holiday guide, which they're calling like the dollar day. Uh, gift guide and I really want to dig into that uh, as well. It's a um, pretty like uh, Shopping gift guide. So anyway, that's the first thing to give you. Yay gift guides But I guess I finally remember like I literally just forgot what was in this what was in this box guys until I like I just started to dig in um, Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. So in the box um they're giving you a Shutterfly thingy for a photo book if you want to do that. Alright, so I'm digging in. And the first item I got is this. So what I did, now I remember what this order is like. I literally forgot like what it was even in here. I um, had picked up Courtney's new all i believe basically i do believe all of courtney's new mix and max collection unless it was something that i didn't like i do believe i almost ha I'm a, i have i got all of this i know i have that dress i mean that's nothing new and her sneakers are nothing new and the glasses are something i never really wanted um so I never got her glasses. I mean, I may or may not get them at some time. And I I have her fanny pack here. They just call it belt bag and wash. But we all know it's a fanny pack. Um, yeah, so I think I got almost all of her collection here. But we'll see here because I kind of did forget what I got. Uh, so this is her Courtney's tank top set. And um, it's two tank tops, I believe, if I'm right. Yes, two tank tops. I'll show it right here. Yep. Yep, two tank tops, and there we go. I'm really excited for um, her mix and match collection. As someone who did live through the 80s, I believe some of this is true to form, and some of it may be, like, a little too exaggerated, or at least maybe something that I never saw in the 80s. But, all right, so that's the first thing. And digging in. Oh, and the guys, you know, we all know peanuts. America Girls and Famous Packing Peanuts. Next thing I got was this. Now this 100% is 80s. I mean, people even still wear these to this day. Um, some vintage, some even new companies will still make these. But yes, this fringe jacket, you know, definitely, 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 definitely 80s. So yes, it's called Courtney's Right Fringe Jacket. And uh, I do forget how much these retailed for. Um, sometimes they have like the price here and sometimes they don't, but probably obviously these don't because I got them online instead of in store. Um, but what I do is I'll flash the price for each item I'm showing, uh, right here. So I'll flash, uh, tank, Courtney's tank tops and I'll flash this. But yeah, this is going to look awesome on Courtney. So I'm really excited. And let's dig in more and more and more. Uh, and we got uh, her tights and leggings. Um, she already has, you know, some tights and leggings in her collection. Um, which, of course, you know, we're still wearing these to this day. Like, tights and leggings are still, you know, very, very stylish and popular to wear. So, yeah. And I, um, I love this because it's like Pac-Man looking. Obviously, the black and the yellow is very, very quintessential. Pac-Man and I don't know if that was done on purpose or not but if it was cool because you know in her collection and her story she's um loves Pac-Man you know loves the already 80s arcade games so I think uh these are really awesome 
and I can't wait to dig in and feel them, which I won't be doing probably for a while here. Uh, she has a lot of clothes I haven't even really tried on her yet. Um, but I have to have all of Courtney's collection, even if I don't really buy any other dolls and have to have all the collection. I mean, the reason why I got into American Girl in the first place was because of Courtney. Um, so don't laugh. Don't ask me if that's a good or a bad thing, because I'm pretty sure my wallet's going to say that's a bad thing. But yeah, for, for Courtney, I'm definitely going to be buying all of her collection, unless it's something I do not like. So here we go with Courtney's uh, skirt set. And let's see what this looks like. Oh, yes. These, and they match um, the tank tops. I mean, all of this is obviously mix and match anyway, but obviously you can see that goes with that and then what vice versa so yeah this is pretty pretty cute um a lot of polka dots for sure in the 80s in this pattern i've definitely seen so yep and i flashed the price on by that and let's dig in keep digging keep digging okay so i know i got this her oversized blazer now this is something that either I must have missed or the girls that I hung out with did not wear this because I do not remember seeing kids wear big old oversized blazers. Um, I I could be wrong, but I, I do not remember this. Now, maybe like an, an adult, a business professional for sure, or some model or TV actress or something like that in the 80s maybe would have worn this, but um, not a child. <laughs> So, kind of confused, but it's still cute regardless. It's cute. And the outfit that they have her um, dressed up in. Try to get that glare out of you guys' eyes. Sorry. So, the outfit they have right here um, is obviously really cute. So, yeah. There's that. And digging, 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 digging. Next up is her cropped pink polka dot top. This is just a single set, um, like the tank tops and the tights were like basically a two pack. Um, this is just one. This will look great with most of pretty much any of these other items here. So yeah, I mean, did, uh, polka dots were definitely a thing in the eighties. Um, yeah, so this I would say is realistic to the eighties. And it's definitely cute and love the colors. Next up we have Courtney's pleated shorts. Now these, now these, I've wore pairs of these. So this I know for sure is 100% um, 80s. So yep, Courtney's pleated shorts. Definitely something, you know, you would see the girls wearing, you know, summertime, summer camp. I mean, you can even see this in movies, you know. Uh, you go watch some 80s horror movie. All I can think of for some reason is like Friday the 13th. Uh, the girls in that. Or um, any other 80s rom-com, horror, whatever. You can definitely see the actresses wearing uh, these types of shorts. Next up. <laughs> this is cute. I, I love um, love the design on this. Definitely designs like this in the 80s for sure. Um, and this is just her sweatshirt. And this is a sweatshirt, not a tank. Um, it is longer, obviously, in the area. Yes, and it looks like in the picture here, it goes all the way down to her wrist. I'm kind of thinking it's like a quarter sleeve or something, but it's not. Um, yeah, this is definitely, definitely cute. And this will look great uh, with her jeans and all that. Um other uh accessories in her mix and match collection i think this is going to go great with uh other things as well which i guess is why they call it the mix and match collection right all right and now we're getting into some boxed things so here are these c's the z's pjs um i had to have these and it's just you know your standard american girl box might have the price on this one Nope, I'll uh, I'll flash the price, but so I had to have these because of the colors. I mean, they're kind of candy, 
colors, their tie dye. I mean, my favorite is the pastel tie dye. That's my favorite. And this comes basically pretty close. The slippers look with those little, little uh, cotton balls at the end, little pom poms, super super cute. Um, and her headband. And then, of course, the PJs themselves. They actually look like they would be really comfortable. Uh, I think they made these in girl size, but they probably definitely don't make them in mine. Which is a shame, right? But yeah, these are cute. So, I think these are going to look good in my on my Kimber because um, her purple hair. And they also look good on my Pixie Pop, which is my custom American Girl doll. I think these would be perfect for her. So, yep, I got these and I flashed the price. And another box here. And I did get this. This is her uh, Courtney's Awesome Accessories. She has jelly shoes. A belt. Now these belts with this thing is 100% 80s. Um, My mom had one of these belts and stuff and dresses and stuff that had this. This is definitely 100% 80s, early 90s. Um, Just a regular standard American Girl, or American Girl box. But yeah, so really loving these. I can't wait to dig in and actually feel those uh, jelly slippers. Um, and the hat's really cute too. Um, yeah, don't remember seeing too much hats like that, but I think definitely in movies I've seen actresses wear this type of hats. I didn't have one. All right, guys, I think this is the last thing in the box. Let me move these peanuts around and make sure. And they put the last thing in the box that was the Coupe de Grawl in the box. Ta-da! I was able to snag the Spooky Spells Witch Costume. I think I literally snagged it like maybe a couple of days before they said they were sold out. Um, this happens to be American Girls, for this year anyway, most popular Halloween costume. Um, this is my first, I guess, almost a full year of, of collecting American Girl because it would have been a full year about uh, Christmas week uh, when I first placed my Courtney order. So this is my first year, I guess you could say, um, her Halloween, I guess, with American Girl. And I know they came out with a lot of other really, really cute costumes throughout the years. But this one, something I had had to have. I mean, I mean, I'm a big spooky person. I love, love, love Halloween, and this costume just gorgeous. I mean, just because what I like is the colors here, and I mean, I like the base color here and the socks. And I heard the boots were like kind of all plastic and cheapy, but that's fine. And then even coming with the broom is just awesome. But it's these. I don't, I'm I'm guessing. I'm thinking they're sequins. I'm I'm not going to open it up yet. Um, I am I'm definitely going to be opening up here soon now because I have the perfect doll to dress up. And from what I've seen in the pictures and from what I think because based on hair color and based off of this costume, I think my Kimber, which is a truly me. Oh my God, guys. I swear I'm going to get it right. I don't know if it's 89, 90, 88. What, the one with the purple hair, which, you know, obviously Flash, what truly me she is. But at the top of my head, I can't remember. Um, my Kimber uh, was gonna look, is going to look awesome in this front thing. Purple, you know, being Halloween. Um, the colors on this costume. The whole nine is going to make it pop. Um, I think who else? Uh, like Blair, and I think looks really, really good in this. For some reason, red hair uh, really looks good in this costume from pictures I've seen. Uh, who else would look like really, really good? Oh, um, who else I think is almost like perfect for it is that other Truly Me doll, the camo one. I forget her number as well. I flash it once I remember um, who I'm talking about. But the camo girl, her hair is like perfect. I guess it's like the colors um, in her hair match this really well. And of course the black. Um, yeah, she's going to... I don't have that doll yet. She's on my list to get, though. Um, but she looks really, really good in this costume as well. So, yeah. That girl, the camo girl, <laughs> Blair, and um, my Kimber, um, which is the long-haired, purple, American girl doll, who um, was going to look great. And probably my Pixie Pop. My Pixie Pop with her, with her hair would also look good in this. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm really excited uh, to put this on my Kimber and, and display her. 
So yeah, and I was very, very lucky um, to get one before they sold out because now these are going for like outrageous prices on the secondhand market, such as eBay, Mercari, you know, all that stuff. So I was able to get her. Now I do remember the price on this one very well. The price was $38 um, for this. And I'm not sure if that was the price of the other two costumes as well, but this is the one I definitely, definitely had to have. And I was also thinking about the uh, unicorn one as well. Uh, cause I think, uh, my Kimber would also look good in that one, but yeah, that is it for my American girl haul. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and listening to me ramble on and all that good stuff. And if you definitely like this video, subscribe here on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. Um, give me a comment about what was your favorite piece on Courtney's new uh, mix and match collection. And um, give me a comment if you happen to be lucky to snag uh, one of these witch costumes up and which doll did you put uh, her in or this costume in. Um, yeah, so that's it. All of Courtney's new mix and match. I think that was pretty much all of the new ones. I got everything here, right? Yeah, I guess I did. Yep. There's double checking on the list there, but yes, I did get everything. So, yeah, guys, um it's spooky season, so have fun, you know. Have fun, enjoy the month of October. And thank you guys so much for watching. All that all that good stuff. Um yeah, but definitely let me know um, how you're dressing your dolls for Halloween this year and what pieces of a Courtney's new collection you liked. And um, other than that, I think that'll be it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, which is going to be soon, because I got a lot of videos planned, um, I will definitely see you guys in the next one. So thank you so much and have a good day. Uh-oh, got to do the hand thing like the others do. Bye.